The Constitution Hill prisoner Cecile Palmer has asked the ANC why it appoints weak women to the Ministry of Women. Palmer was speaking at the Nelson Mandela Foundation Memorial of Mama Winima de Kizela Mandela at the former prison and fortress in Johannesburg. She's among women, including Mama Winnie and other anti-apartheid activists, Barbara Hogan, Fatima Mir, and Albertina Susulu, who were incarcerated at the women's jail during their political careers. Dignitaries, uh, former freedom fighters, the Mandela's and the Madigizela families all gathered at Constitutional Hill here in Johannesburg to pay homage to the late Winnie Madigizela Mandela. The Nelson Mandela Foundation paid tribute to the struggle icon for her excellence in liberating South Africa. Madigizela Mandela was one of the greatest icons of the struggle against apartheid. She fought valiantly against uh, the apartheid state and sacrificed her life for the freedom of the country. I want to ask you directly, why is it that you put weak women at the head of women's ministry. It's time you got serious about what you're doing. Let's peel off all the scabs we have and let's repair this country. It's our job to do it. We cannot, we've been hearing since last week, Monday, about Noam Zamo's resilience and everything that she stood for. Can we take up the cudgels as a tribute to a woman Strived for freedom. We as a family, we have been blessed to have Madiba as the head of our family. We have been blessed to have Mama as the matriarch of our family. Now, what is left of us? I just want you to understand why we are so shaken. Why we still are confused. And uh, because we don't have the courage of our parents, we fear the future. We are not who they are, although we are their product. Thank you, South Africa. Thank you, the world. God bless you. But more importantly, I would like to stand in one year's time and hear many of us reporting, Chief Justice, it's not a reporting to those who have gone. It's a report to the children of this country what you have done differently and better to honor. You see, the, the, that, that harrowing tale that she tells in 491 days of how she sought that inner strength and the journey that she went on. And I said to priests last week, Bishop, you sometimes warn us of hell, but you don't tell us what it's actually about. If you want to understand hell, those 491 days are the story of hell. But it's in, it's in passing through that, that Mamwini developed that inner core of strength that we so all admire, that made her somewhat unmanageable, but it gave her the strength because she understood then that the reliance is upon herself and that inner core of strength. We need to draw from the fearlessness that Mamwini had, that Mamwini taught us, and use that in order to 
change the situation about corruption in our country. We need to take the lesson of fearlessness that Mamweni left us and say to ourselves, what is it that I am going to do from now on that will demonstrate fearlessness in order to make my own contribution to changing this society? Some sad news just in now.